Howdy, folks. I am Special Agent Mick Cheddar from Cheesy Warts. It helped Cheesy the game of lies and truths, of murder, most foul. Welcome to Contradiction. This is a game similar to Red Dead of Night, but in this game, we must try to catch a murderer, as you will see in the prologue. My name is Jenks, Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last-minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine, a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. Kate Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality, she had become adept at hiding behind a mask. A lab report Montreal. indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? Kate was known to be a free spirit with a nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based in a large, stately home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. They look both suspicious to me. Following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. This isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Mm. Atlas and their questionable methods, which many have suggested border on mind control. Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's village pub, the George and Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. Especially if she's alcoholic. This was Emma Bowman, Possibly. who lives at Eden Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her I don't believe her. Simon Thompson met Emma at university. After completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon insisted that he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but the sergeant interviewing him noted he seemed oddly unmoved by her death, mm. which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. It's time for some answers. Then let's go, Jinx! Celeboil. Yes! Okay, those are our players. Okay, it's background. Give me the background. Why... Why are you not giving me the background? Does any... Why does nothing work? Okay, now it works. Don't know what happened there. The victim, Kent Vine. PhD student, alcoholic, analyst, whatever. Atlas, these two shifty motherfudges. Okay? Um, we have Rebecca Rand. Ryan is married to Rebecca. Landlady of Edenton's village pub. Though we may find more players as time goes along, we last two we have as Simon and Emma, two friends of Kate's. We shall find the murderer. It feels weird to me. The bit I noticed right away is there was a morphine in her thing. There was a morphine. I cannot just give you it. When we were watching the video there on her toxicology, there was alcohol, yes, but there was also trace amounts of morphine. Not a good time. So, let us start our investigation. I shall say I have done some of this on the charity event. I'm not sure what's happening with the voice. It's going slightly French now, but we did some of this on the charity stream. I don't honestly remember a lot from that event, okay? I know I have to go up here. I know I should go over here to the path. I, village, Edenton, that's the hall, okay? And when we see this icon, that means that there is something to grab. Okay, what happened to you just there? You kind of shook. To randomly find a key on the floor? Yes. Strange to find it here. Awesome. I have my key. Is there more to find? 
Is it that this? Okay. Improve your spiritual, oh, intellectual, financial life. Interesting. Spiff. Anyway, I like that. I just spiritual, intellectual. Oh, Sif. I completely did. I need to improve my intellectual life. Clearly, yes. Cheesy sent me along here because he didn't think he could do this game very well. Um, so I'm here to help, apparently. Um, but yes, as we go over here, I'm gonna try and keep these like 20 minute episodes. So it's not too much. You're just by the right amount. But we'll see how we go. I'm also very dense. I will say that. Um, at dead of night, it took me a little while to get done. Possibly because I was looking for shit and I was being stupid. But this is by the same people. Jewelry there, stuck between the boards. Use the key to get it out. Truly wedged in. I, I would just use the key. I don't know if I can use the key. I'm pretty sure I gotta use something else. Try using key. Apparently, I can't. I wanna. Do, can I do that? Can I not do that? Okay, apparently I can't do I know what I do. I know what I used last time. I do. Um, I just, I would have just jammed the key in there and got it out with that. But apparently not. So let's go over here and go see the sneaky people in Eden Lodge. Nice shoes. Nice shoes, Jenks. Appreciate those shoes. Nice shoes. Bike. Very trusting, leaving a bike unlocked. We should steal it. Teach him a lesson. Looks like homebrew equipment. Ah, this might come in handy. Who puts a screwdriver in the bin? I mean, just strange. Right, we are going to run back uh, here real quick. Because now we can get that thing out with a screwdriver. That, mm, this way, we're going to go talk to uh, those two, the sneaky Nikis. Yeah, because that's the technical term in uh, policing. Sneaky Neaky. Um, we have all the information we need, we kind of need. I thought forensics had checked the whole area. Obviously not very well. It's kind of pretty. In a gothic way. Um, right, Sneaky Deakies, there you are. It's good. I just want to go in there. Thank you very much. Jenks, come on there, buddy. Right, knock for Simon. Can Simon come out to play? Is it Simon? Uh, yeah. Detective Inspector Jenks. He has a nice hat. An incident in the village. I appreciate the hat. Questions, please. Um, yeah, thank you. And if you shall recall, at dead of night, Jimmy is here. Uh, we can just go through here if you want. Uh, Emma's working in the front room. Hi. Uh, this is Inspector Jenks. Jenks. What's all this about? There was a death in the village. Kate Vine, I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Do you need to speak to both of us? Uh, I'll just speak to Simon first, if that's okay. Yes. Overachiever, by a sound of it over there. Is it okay in here? Very, very suspicious. Oh, fine, yeah. Do you want anything? Water? No, 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 I won't be long. Okay. I don't like the way you sit either. That is just... Does it look good on me? Be honest. Anyway, right, let's go talk to you. Ask the questions. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Um, so last Friday's meeting, I think. Now look at the Did eyes. Did you her after the meeting? No. How long have you known Kate? That would be when we started Atlas. Three months ago. Did you socialize outside Atlas? How would you describe her? Uh, what sort of person was she? Well, she's talented. Uh, she was full of life, you know? Sharp, quite sharp. Would you say she had any emotional problems? She, her mood, her mood could change. And, well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to a meeting sometimes. She would reek of the stuff. I mean, everyone knew, but nobody really said anything. So, mm. tell me a bit about Atlas. Oh, it's just a business management training program for postgrads. And you started this after you left college? Uh, yeah. 
And it's on every. I mean, thing. correct me yeah, if I'm well, wrong. My I don't know, obviously. Friday, but, but like. Uh, one of the groups is. Okay, thanks. I feel like most people who get out of education talk about getting out of education, finishing their, you know, their years of education. I don't know how many would go straight into another course. It seems very suspicious, unless you didn't do very, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Did it's you very know suspicious to me. Whether Kate had lost this or not. Unless no. you're a really big overachiever, which fair enough. I, that a fair. No, I don't think so. Never that looked before. weird. You look strange there. I don't like those looks. Uh, not asking. Bicycle. Bicycle. Why am I saying bike? Outside. bike. Oh, that's my cousin's. Bike. He lent me it. Uh, I need to buy a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's no bus service to speak of around here, so it's really the only way to get around. This seems strange. Um, no, let's not do that. I noticed a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I'm at homeroom. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers. It's Do you bonk your head friends on the head too? I, I used to trade it to him. So to I have no stuff. issues with this guy. James a lot. No, not really. Very personal issues nice with this guy. Cool. It does remind me of something. I don't know. I've seen it somewhere, but I... No, I don't know. Hmm. I don't like that answer. Home brew, which we've done... Okay, so basically what we do now, right? Ah, I'm sorry. I mean, basically what we do now is we have to look through the answers. Okay. And then we put things together over here. So, Broken Pagan vaguely recognizes it. Makes homebrew or this kind of jazz. Okay. Um, we're gonna go visit Emma first, though, before we go and start making mate. contradictions. Don't worry, it's only a few questions. Yeah. I really like the actress for this character. I think she does very well. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? It was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. Okay. She seemed her usual self. What was her usual self? Oh, just... Kate being Kate, you know, a bit wild. Wild? What way wild? Oh, she just used to question everything, you know. Have arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? So did I. Kate had a drink problem. How uh, noticeable was that? Well, it wasn't at first, but as the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. But I th think she cut down, you know, towards the end of college and when she started her PhD. Hmm. I don't know, Vince. He's very, he's very... Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Um, I don't know, but I, I don't think so. Okay. Don't feel like you're very good friends with her. Whose is the bike outside? Oh, it's Simon's cousin's. He uses it to get to work. You know the lock's broken. Oh, I know. I keep telling him to fix it. She doesn't seem very comfortable with me. Unfortunately, I do get that a lot. What's the stack of bottles outside? Oh, that's all Simon's stuff. You better ask him. I, I don't know. Ever seen this? It's the only thing I've seen about Jake so far. It's his facial expressions are slightly that's my old necklace. too exaggerated. Kate. So Kate might have been wearing it last Friday. Yeah, well, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know, lots of jewellery, stuff like that. It's meant to be a bird in cage, but the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. Where did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret admirer? Mm, that's a secret. I see. Simon? That's how it should have looked. It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No, not at all. Hmm. So the necklace did belong to Kate. Interesting. Interesting. Like spare evidence back. Have you ever tried Simon's homebrew? Me? <laughs> no. I don't like beer. I only drink wine. I can't stand spirits either. Hmm. Sure. Okie dokie. So, 
See, one thing we do know is we have Kate bought lots of new jewelry. I'm pretty sure this is the one. Uh, is this not the one? Are these not the ones? What bollocks was it? Ah. Uh, Crap! I know those two are linked together somewhere! <laughs> Next is this kid's shoes, okay. Is it those two? Crap! <laughs> okay, uh, wait a sec. Let's go uh, see Simon. A moment. Thank you. I know there's a link there somewhere. <laughs> you know what this is? Yeah! Yeah, I think Emma had one like it. Actually, you know what? Kate had one. I remember because I asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking. In college. I was probably pretty drunk. That's what college is all about. Is it? I thought you didn't socialise with her outside of college. What bloody well was it? Uh... Okay, wait a second, wait a second. I need you to go back over real quick. Give me two seconds. Got one! I got the sneaky motherfucker! So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace 18 months ago? At college? Well, I, I knew Kate at college, but I, I didn't get to know her to uh -huh. start at Atlas. Lies! So you didn't socialise with her at college? No. And you didn't socialise with her outside of Atlas? Uh, no. Except you said you went drinking! Her outside Atlas at all. Um... No, no, <laughs> not at all. You lies! These are all lies! So Simon did know Kate at college, but why would he lie about that? He's a sneaky deaky! Better than he's willing to admit. Six o'clock. I wonder if Rebecca's working in the pub tonight. They are lies! These people! I think what it was on the other one is I was too ahead of myself. Problem with knowing things is that you don't know the things you should know until you're supposed to know them, and it's bad signs. Broken window, recently smashed by the look of it. Might have to ask about that. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't test me on the, you know, jargon. It's all investigatory to the, the, the speak, investigatory speak. That's the one. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. 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 Uh, this. No, not this. This. Give me my book. Uh, this one. Use this. Not 100% sure why this was where it was, but sure, okay. Why would this have been up at the, the hall? I don't understand, really, but... Spooky spooks. Right, look around. You need a tie, Jenks. I will give you mine after this is over. That's not I creepy. Whose mask this is? Rebecca's or Ryan's? The Phantom of the Opera. You have solved the missing, the guest long-standing. Uh, investigate behind the shelves. Just looks like junk, but it's too dark to tell. You need a torch, Jenks, don't you? Do I have a torch? I don't think I have anything that can shine light on these things, other than cheesy. I shall assign a light into darkness. Be the demon of justice. I don't know where I'm going with half these sentences I start. You may have noticed this over the last few minutes because I've never been on with you before. Um, pub. Let's go to pub. We'd like to drink with Nick Cheddar. 
Jinx. Whatever. I don't know. Trying to keep all these personalities in check has always been tricky. Um, right, let's go to the restaurant real quick before we go ring the bell. There's nobody in the restaurant. Okay, back to the bar then. I was a bit more in the mood for a drink anyway. Okay, press the bell. Sorry, what can I get you? Detective Inspector Jenks. Rebecca, is it? Yeah. Mm. Hiya. There's been an uh, incident in the village. I'm conducting an investigation. Could I ask you a few questions, please? Right. Come through. Thank you. Hmm. She didn't have a couple with me. What's it about? These it's people can't like for shit. death locally, not sure if you've heard. The student? Yes. Yes, yeah, so this is dreadful news. You're married to Ryan, one of the Atlas leaders, yes? I suppose I am, yes. Well, I just mm. wanted to ask a few questions about Kate and Atlas, if that's okay. I don't know if I'll be able to answer any of them, but sure. I don't like the way she talks. She's very suspicious. She's very, very suspicious. Or vicious. It's very vicious. Uh, no, it's not quite suspicious. Not very well. She came in a few times, but she was quite a moody... Cow. ...person. Okay. You could tell she had problems. When was the last And you Friday still served her? Friday. Not very, uh... She in for a minute. And when was that? You know. Uh, seven-ish. Ethical. Was she on her own? I didn't see who she was with. She put £20 on the bar and then left. What was that for? A breakage, presumably. £20? Just for a beer glass? <laughs> well, she was very drunk. She just put it on the bar and then walked out. Mm. Was there a broken glass? Not that I noticed. But she was a strange girl. I don't trust you. We don't trust her. Have you seen we don't trust before? anybody. <clears throat> no, sorry. So you didn't know if Kate had lost it? No idea. As a bar person, wouldn't you at least the first time check a student's ID? Would you, would you not? One second. Would you not? Did those two not go together? I feel like the first time you would have checked. I get checked? No, not anymore. This is my ID. Um, yeah, I don't know. This seems a lot of shite, that does. Very stupid. Anyway. Do you know anything about Simon Thompson's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? Hmm. Apparently. No, we do buy from a microbrewery, but we don't usually buy from kitchen breweries. <laughs> Kitchen berries. Yeah, too posh for kitchen berries. <laughs> anyway, free necklace. This one. Do you recognise this? I've seen students wearing them. It has some sort of meaning, doesn't it? I forget what it is now. Seen anyone wearing one recently? Not that I can remember. Hmm. Broken pub window. How did the window Very get curious about this around one. the back? I don't actually know. Um, someone said two girls were arguing outside. I found out after they'd gone. Mm. And when was this? Last Friday, just after we opened, about half past six. I taped over it until I can get it fixed. We don't want people getting cut and suing us. Does that sort of thing happen a lot? Arguments? No, not really. I'm quite strict when it comes to borrowing clients. I don't think are um, suitable. Hmm. I feel like she thinks I'm not suitable. Don't know who broke the window, but we're pretty sure it's Kate. So. Where's the, uh, this one. Breakage. Uh, this one. Beautiful. Bang, 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 bang. So, you said Kate gave you 20 pounds for a breakage, but you didn't have a breakage. That's right. Do you think the payment could have been for the broken window? Could it have been Kate who was arguing? Well, I suppose it could have been, yeah. It could have been Kate, you're probably right, yeah. But you don't know who she was arguing with? No, I'm not sure. 
Mm. Ask around. Not realizing Kate had broken the window. Rebecca really should have worked that out before now. Unless she did. But why would she lie about that? Why indeed? <clears throat> um, cardboard mask. Real quick. Do you know what this is? Oh, you'll have to ask Ryan about that. So this is Ryan's. It's to do with one of Ryan's methods on the course. Okay. Go on. Well, masks allow you to play it being someone different for a while. Yeah. Students find it quite liberating. So this would be for a student? I think that one's Ryan's, but students do wear them, yes. Interesting. Kate's argument. Rebecca told Jinx about the argument in the pub last Friday. Um, maybe there's more to here that I can use. Kate broke a broken window make it safer. Rebecca is strict about barring clients. Kate broke window during an argument. Um... Go with that, and go with that. Can I? I mean, are those two not linked? I mean, because, okay, maybe not. Right. Be back later on, if that's okay. What we're going to do, we're going to leave for now. And we're going to go up here, because there is somebody we need to meet. I believe he is here now. Hello, James. Who is it? I'm a police officer. Detective Inspector Jenks. It's all right, you can carry on if you want to. I'm just going. I'm investigating a, a death in the village, Kate Vine. There was a death recently Hello, in the... Hello, I knew her. Well, could I ask you a few questions, please? A bit dark. Well, if you give me your name and address, I'll come later on. Where do you live? Oh, and what's your name? Very friendly individual right there. Anyway, let's go back to the sneaky dickies in the Eden Lodge. I want to talk to Emma again. I don't care about Simon. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Um, broken pub window. Know anything about a broken window at the pub around the back? The pub, um... A broken window at the back. Yeah, yeah, I saw it was broken. When was that? I was in the pub on Monday with a college friend. Hmm. I do not believe her. Did you hear about an argument in the pub last Friday? No, I wasn't there. You weren't in the village? No, I went home last, last Thursday night, actually, to see my parents. Hmm. But you didn't visit the pub? Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I know Rebecca quite well. We, we all went there. Quite a bit after college. But you you said... You said... You said... Late Thursday night. Is this the one I need? There is one I need. And... I'm not 100% sure which one it is. Um... This one, is it, is it this one? There is one, and I don't know what it is. Ah, uh, there was one. Ever seen this before? Mm, nope, I haven't, sorry. I think I'd have remembered it. Doesn't like beer. He drinks beer. I don't know if that's a thing. Went to pub after college. Doesn't like beer. Don't know if that's a thing. Um, there is one. Why do, can I not find it? Keep here to use yourself. On Thursday. Let's try that one. Nope, not the one. There is one with that. There is one with that, and I don't know fucking what it is. Why do I not know? I know! I know! Okay, Son of a bitch, I know what it is. 
I know what it is. Know anything about an argument at the pub? It's not this Friday. bit. No, I didn't go to the pub last Friday. What did you do after the course? Just went home. Came here. Just came straight back. Hmm. Don't believe you. Do you know anything about a broken window at the pub? No, I don't really go to the pub very often. I'm not exactly a pub person. What's that supposed to mean? Thank you. You got something against pub people? Back later. Yes, we need to go say hi to our latest. Best to knock on the window. Um, Simon always answers the front door. Person. According to the map, Abbey Farm is across the road. Yeah. And go up here first, because we like to be forearmed. For one, I uh, things. We like to be for the things. And we go in here and we can find things. We find the scrying masks. Ah, uh, mirrors. The masks. Picture frames with black painted glass. Very interesting. Yes. Do you recognize them, everybody? From, uh, from a dead of night. Okay, and then, so that's that bit done. I would like to steal your stuff. But, we have more important things. Go down here, ring the bell. We're going to catch these people out in their lies. And then wrap the things up. Questions, please? Didn't take you long. Haven't got much time. I know, I know, I've only got a day. Considering I've only got a day, I'm walking here, there, and everywhere. Where do you want to sit? Oh, anywhere's fine. I uh, didn't quite catch your name. James, sit there. Thank you, James. You're very... Why are you asking me about Cape Pie? Routine. You know Simon, don't you? Thompson. Why, what did he say? That you all went to college together, you and Kate. Is that right? Might have done. Right. Good enough. Is it though? Like, okay. I mean, was, if you haven't done anything, you saw Kate Vine. I would just answer the remember, copper. How did you know her? Uh, through Simon. His girlfriend was mates with her. Saw her around college a few times. Did you socialize with her much? Nah. She wasn't my type. Okay. I mean, everybody's my type. Friends wise. I'm just saying that. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Nah. <laughs> No idea. Didn't think so. What do you know about Simon's bike? What bike? You haven't seen him on a bike? I haven't seen him. When was the last time you saw him? About a month ago. Hmm. Very odd. Fairly odd indeed. Have you uh, ever tried Simon's homebrew? Thompson's tar? Yeah, I've tried it. Did he sell it? Well, not to me, not for money anyway. We used to trade stuff. What did you trade? I make a nice herbal tea as it happens. Him and his girlfriend were into it. What was his beer like? Lethal. Strong. <laughs> Knock your eyes out. I kind of like him. He's, he's, not, he's not like the other. I don't mind him so much. I feel like he's still lying no back crap, but about a broken window at the pub. Don't go to Less the crappy. Pub. You've never been to the pub. Didn't say that. Been to the pub, but not for about two months, three months. Hmm. Don't believe you. Ever seen this before? No, should I have? No, it's okay. Kids argument. Know anything about an argument at the pub last Friday? No. Hmm. Now, what's all this stuff in the workshop? Paint and stencils and things like that? Just a little sideline of mine. Oh, you do picture framing. They're black mirrors. Scrying mirrors. Now, what's a scrying mirror? Show you one if you want. Scrying goes back centuries. The ancient Persians did it. Uh -huh. This country pagans still practice it. The fortune tellers pretend to do it. That's what the crystal ball's all about. It's all scrying. 
Mirror is just one way of doing it. But what is scrying? Depends who you are. People do it for different reasons. Doesn't really answer my question. Exploring your mind, clearing your mind, communicating with the dead. Is that what you use them for, James? Communicating with the dead? How they make them for other people these days. And there's a market for these, is there? Lots of people want to talk to the dead, even if they don't believe in it. Do you make a profit on them? I don't do it for the money. I'm very charitable of you. Can I keep this? Keep it. Thank you. Interesting. Black mirrors and hookah pipes. I wonder what else James is into. Yeah. That being said, tells mirrors to make a profit. I'm going to make some mirrors for others. Grand price for various reasons. Mirrors one way of scrying. Makes black scrying mirrors. Kicks argument. <clears throat> right. I don't remember. I catch you out on something and I can't honestly remember what it is right now. Can't remember the last time you saw Kate. Then about some bike. Mm. Ever seen one of these before? Freedom necklace. Don't think so. I find it weird when people answer and then just look away immediately. But the bigger I thing probably be back later. Is I can take this and I go back to the sneaky deekies. Sneaky, sneaky deekies uh, over here. Nope, bollocks. Don't turn around. I did that on purpose. I'm just pacing. Just pacing. Not for Emma. Emma, come on to play. If you don't mind. Ask about this. Have you seen one of these before? Is that from James? Now, what do you know about James? That is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> he was selling nice. them last Friday at the market. Those. those That's the one. Week. That's the line I needed. And, uh,. I usually go there for lunch. So you wouldn't buy one of these? No, I wouldn't. But Kate would. Was she uh, into this sort of thing? No, I, I don't think so. She bought one, and uh, I went round to her flat to try it out. You're meant to see ghosts or spirits or something. It doesn't work. How do you use it? You're just meant to stare into it. Shall I show you? Go ahead. Okay, so you just you just stare stare like this, and uh, not gonna lie, it does make me kind of want to try it. Then you see see what? Sorry, um, <laughs> uh, look, uh, you just, you're meant to see a ghost or something. Look, it doesn't work. But you wanted it to, didn't you? You really wanted it to. Uh, okay. Anyway, right, this. Um, and this. Aha. So, you went home to see your parents on Thursday night, that right? Uh, yes. But you said you saw James at the market on Friday. He, um, no, I went to um, I went to see my parents on Friday night. What time did you go on Friday? Um, eight or nine. And you didn't see Kate at all on Friday. No. Hmm. You're not a very good liar, Emma. Okay. I saw Kate. Where? Shakus. At the pub we were arguing. Go on. What were you arguing about? I, I'd lent her fifty pounds because she was desperate, and w we were just arguing. I, I, it didn't really bother me. She just didn't have it. And Kate broke the window. Yes. Mm. She she did things like that when she was angry. Smash things. Yes. So it was Emma arguing with Kate. But why didn't she want to admit it? In case it gave her a motive or something else. But lend money. Because Kate needed it, apparently. 
But, as she said earlier on, Ked buys lots of new jewelry. <laughs> so you lent money to Kate because she was desperate, but she bought loads of jewelry and things. So why were you lending her money? Well, no, it's because, um... It, well, it's... it wasn't about money, was it, Emma? No. Yeah. Go on. You sneaky little fucker. We were arguing because she was going to blackmail Ryan, the guy from Atlas, over an affair he was having, and then tell his wife if he didn't give her the money. Ryan's affair with Kate? No, I don't know. I think he was having an affair with another student and Kate found out. And why were you involved? Because I didn't really agree with it. I didn't agree with what she was doing, even if he did have an affair. Were you friends with Ryan? No, I'd never met him. You just thought Kate was wrong? Yeah. Hmm. Mm, not sure about this. Emma's either on a moral crusade, or there's another reason she was worried about Kate blackmailing Ryan. Uh, I get one back, Matt Ryan, every third. Can I just, like... No, Matt Ryan, can I just do that? Oh, wait a minute. What was it? No, uh, um, no, it was a quiet word from the pub. Okay, so I might have been missing something. What do you know about Alice? I went to speak to Simon real quick, and then I got this out of him. I know that it's, um, it's a business course. I went with Simon when he first went, but... That's what I needed. It's really my thing. How often did you go? Just the once. And you decided it wasn't for you? Yeah, I'd been to something similar, so I decided it wasn't for me. So... I say this, and I say this. It's not that, okay. Maybe it's that. Yes, there we go. You said you <laughs> went to an Atlas meeting with Simon. Yes. That's interesting, because I happen to know that Ryan is the main lecturer at Atlas. But you say you never met him. Why did you say you don't know him? Because you're the one who's having the affair. Okay, I, I, need, I need to tell you something. I just need to make sure Simon doesn't find out. I won't be telling Simon anything he doesn't have to hear. And you can't tell Rebecca either. Go on. Okay, so the affair that happened was was between Ryan and I. I was having the affair. Naughty, naughty Kate, people. No. So Kate was blackmailing both of you? No, she didn't care about me. It was part of the course, you see, having to take all these risks. She thought it was funny to turn her back on Ryan. She thought I wouldn't care. But you did. Yes, I was already with Simon when Ryan and I, you know, and I didn't want Simon finding out, and Kate thought that he wouldn't, but I didn't want her risking it. And then if Rebecca found out, then Simon would definitely have found out, and then it would have blown up and it would have just been a big mess. And so you just argued and what well she just stormed off and broke a window and that was it you didn't see her again that night no don't believe you are you sure yes i promise oh that means fuck all love you've already lied a lot tonight so right seven o'clock so ryan's a bit of lothario is he i think it's time i met this ryan rand face to face that is going to wait until our next episode okay thank you very much for coming to join mick chair on a special agent secret assignment uh the other way around secret agent special assignment in this lovely little town we catch a murder maybe we'll be back for different episodes or different series with cheesy who goddamn knows but we'll be back very soon with some more contradiction i hope to god you guys have enjoyed your time here today um next episode i really have no idea what's going on i think i might know a little bit i might know a little bit not a lot not as much as i did for this one this one i knew most of it and i still fudged up a little bit um but i'll be back again very soon for some more contradiction in the meantime have a great day have a great night whatever time's on you're in stay happy stay positive stay cheesy out there lots of love folks bye bye